Officials in Afghanistan have now confirmed at least 30 people died in an attack on the country's largest military hospital in the capital, Kabul. Four men, at least one wearing a suicide jacket, were involved. The so-called Islamic State group has said it carried out the attack, the first time IS fighters have engaged with Afghan security forces in the capital. Perhaps suggests the group is changing tactics. Let's speak now to Colin Cookman. He's a South and Central Asia analyst at the United States Institute of Peace. He's in Washington, D.C. Colin, what do you make of this attack? Um, well, obviously, it was a horrible morning in Kabul um, in terms of the casualties. Um, this We've seen a few attacks by the Islamic State in, in Kabul over the past several months. Um, but as you said, this is the first one where they've sort of engaged in uh, uh, battle with Afghan forces. Um, but as they've come under pressure in the eastern part of the country, it seems perhaps the strategy is shifting on their part and they are now relying more on these major uh, large scale attacks. So do you see it as a sign of strength or a sign of weakness? And do you see it as a change of tactics? I do. It does seem to be a change of tactics in terms of the strength of the organization overall. Uh, you know, reports from uh, U.S. and NATO military commanders suggest that they are under greater pressure in the east. Um, their number of fighters in country declining. Um, so this this would be potentially a, a, a way that they're trying to respond um, to put uh, hit back against the Afghan government. Does it surprise you at all that security at the hospital wasn't tighter? Would it have been seen as a likely target? Um, well, I can't speak to sort of the details of the security uh, uh, protocols there. I think, obviously, uh, this particular hospital did come under attack uh, in the past uh, by the Taliban, actually, several years ago. Um, so... So, but there's been a number of these attacks uh, in Kabul. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, a couple of gunmen and a suicide bomber uh, is enough to tie up the situation for several hours um, as the Afghan security forces work to respond. So, what are the chances, do you think, of the Afghan security forces getting a grip on the country as a whole? One a senior U.S. military figure described the war there as lost today. Well, obviously, it's a major challenge for the government. Um, last uh, spring and summer, there were uh, intense Taliban uh, attacks around the country, as well as groups like the Islamic State. Um, U.S. and other partners are working to support those forces. Um, but, you know, looking into the spring and summer ahead, I think we can expect that it will also be um, a serious challenge for them to, to defend against these sorts of attacks and to take more proactive action against these groups. Colin Cookman at the U.S. Institute of Peace. Thank you very much.